What's up everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for more news on Infinite Magic Raid and today we have some details about the new bounty quest, the rewards and also we have a picture of the new guild boss and some news about the summons for this Friday. So let's talk about that. So, as you can see on the screen, uh, let me zoom in, okay. This is the new bounty quest. You, we are gonna have the prim primary one, uh, it's the same you have today. Then we are gonna have the medium one, in which we have to clear more stages in Dwarven Ruins, in the Tower of Mark challenge, multiple times the guild boss, clear a set more stages in Faction Abyss and clear some normal stages in the Elemental City. Uh, after clearing that, you can get this kind of rewards, uh, which is pretty interesting. You can get some food, some potions and some mythic shards. Uh, this is pretty nice. This is the rewards you can get on all of the five uh, quests here at the end. So, in fact, it's pretty nice. That means 25 more mythic shards for free if you can clear this content. I don't think that it is gonna be super, super hard uh, here, uh, stages on the Faction Abyss. I think that if you, um, if you play different heroes who can kind of solo some stages in the Faction Abyss, you can get more stars for free, more uh, clear more stages, and in fact you don't need some stars, you just need to clear some stages here. I don't know what is gonna be the limit here, the maximum you have to clear, but it looks pretty interesting for now. More rewards, and the advanced one are gonna be way more challenging, I guess. We don't have the uh, details about that yet, but we have uh, this, for example. This is the medium dungeon bounty, the advanced dungeon bounty rewards we can get, sorry. Once you finish the medium quest, you are gonna un unlock the advanced ones, and if you clear all the advanced ones, you can get this, which is pretty nice. But <laughs> If it is super challenging, maybe we will have to clear a certain amount of stages in the master campaign or uh, clear the full uh, elemental city one time at least, uh, or the special stages, I don't know. Uh, it is maybe going to be super hard to get, uh, but uh, for those who can do it, they are going to get insane rewards. 50 shards, mythic shards is great. Huge amount of food, this is great. This is great. But uh, there is no skill up at all. I mean, it's great. We can increase our heroes, uh, upgrade our heroes, but with no skill ups. Um, maybe you should consider to add some skill ups at least so we can build our heroes and we can use them. Uh, just a suggestion. So then, yeah, I already talked about that yesterday about the login days to get some rewards, a Phantom Dragon Eyes, etc. Uh, double Faction Abyss drops, uh, it is coming soon, normally, uh, normally in June, so pretty interesting, I can't wait to have the double drop to farm my auras correctly, then more refined rune shards to get more food, okay, more uh, can buy stamina in the shop uh, with even coins, uh, hero specified tag rate up from uh, 10 to 15 times increased, Okay, and then we have the Kraken. We have the new guild boss here. It looks pretty amazing. What do you think about that? I really love this face. Uh, this boss looks pretty uh, hard to beat though. <laughs> I really want to uh, try him for the first time. Middle of June, so we will have to get passion. And then uh, talking about the new GVE system, the Brave Trial adjustments, or just the uh, Hero Assist system, and the Hero Trial here. Uh, okay, and the daily quest to get to, to be able to enhance one artifact to finish this quest. Okay, why not? So now let me show you something about the Discord announcements. So this is what we have at the moment. Uh, the news for the summons coming this Friday, we are going to have two new uh, legendary heroes, Marvel and Andreas, on the Miracle Wishes. We don't have any information yet about their skills. We are going to have Olga, Quinlan and Focus. 
Uh, Queen Lan is such a great unit, one of the best in the game, so if you don't, if you want him, if you don't have him, it is maybe your chance to try to get him if you can reach at least one PT or be lucky enough to get one hero and hit Queen Lan. Focus is one of the best support in the game. If you don't have him, you can uh, use him basically in all your teams. He is going to be re really, really great. And finally, uh, we have Makin, a new epic hero. Uh, Isabel, Anton and Sinov. Anton and Sinov are really insane heroes. Anton is great for the Force Mark Tower because he's the only hero to provide a consolidation. Even if it is only a consolidation one, it's a great buff to have. Uh, he provides a, sh a big shield, he can stun, he can heal, cleanse dots. He is insane. And finally we have Sinov, she is a great hero for the Faction Abyss and for the Green Mark Tower and for PvP because she is immune to freeze and get turn meter increase if she got fr inflicted with a freeze. Uh, which is pretty nice because she lowered the turn meter of enemies, lowered their speed by 40% and she can increase your own speed, heal, and your own turn meter, sorry, by 15%, shield your heroes, heal your heroes, she is a great unit. We have some more news outside of that. Apparently, uh, in the middle of May, uh, we, uh, Donald Rebelly is gonna get a buff, because today he is not usable. Uh, I mean, there are many players who, are, uh, who tried him, such me, for example, and who complain about him. So they are gonna buff him, and they are gonna buff HAL 9000 at the same time, in the middle of May. And they are planning to buff two other heroes. Um, one of these heroes doesn't need a buff, the other one needs a buff clearly, but I'm not allowed to talk about them for now, so be patient, we are gonna talk about that soon really really soon they are gonna announce it pretty soon i think so that was all for the video i hope you enjoyed it if it's the case don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one bye bye